Hello, practitioners of music. My name is Jeffrey McFarlane Johnson. I am a musician and have studied music for over 60 years. I taught music to young middle school students ages 9 to 12 for 23 consecutive years and taught over 3,000 students in the course of that time. During those formative years, I documented the component elements of learning music, the primary goal being how to listen and interpret one's skills on their particular instrument. In addition, I also encouraged all my students to become better listeners, especially those students who did not play a musical instrument. For the music experience is composed of an interactive trifecta of composer, interpreter, and listener. And all three require a high degree of skill in listening. If you learn to listen, you learn to interact in harmony with your fellow human being. This is the basic foundational skill of mankind's oldest invention, civilization. The musical journey can also be a spiritual one, for music is organized sound and silence. Music is the portal that bridges the physical with the metaphysical. The cycle of your brain hearing a sound, physically making the sound, having your ear hear the sound, and then having your brain assess the sound and alter it, is the basic cycle of musical understanding. Refining this skill improves one's life, which in turn improves the lives of others around you. Through my years of teaching and performing, I've discovered that the musical journey is a journey of truth, discovery, and understanding. And like any discipline, studying music builds upon itself in layers of interactive information. Your skills and perception always improve, no matter what level of skill you are presently at. Studying musically promotes the human spirit and gives one a reason for being. It's one of the greatest gifts given to mankind in developing a sense of society. And it's free and available to anyone who wishes to learn to master this skill. I believe that anyone, if you apply yourself, can master the language of music. It only takes time and effort. The beauty of music is that it is finite. There is a definite beginning and end to the musical process. A yin, a yang, a breath in, and a breath out. However, the results of music study is remarkably infinite, and can go in so many different directions. This is why there are so many genres of music, far more than any one person can study in a lifetime. Nonetheless, the basic skills and knowledge needed to study music are absolutely finite. You just need to internalize the alphabetic, intervallic, and a few other sequential orders to speak the language of music. So, I've decided to produce some short videos that illustrate the basic skills needed to become a better listener through the process of learning music. I encourage every person, regardless of your intellect or musical talent, to take up an instrument. It could be the voice, the guitar or violin, a wind instrument, a drum, or a keyboard. It could also be a digital computer-generated instrument, like a sampler sequencer. It doesn't matter what instrument you take up. Just start working at it and begin your musical journey. For you will be a better person, both inside and out. And you will influence others in the course of your journey. You can begin at any age, and you will influence anyone at any age. Studying music does not cause disease, but promotes a healthy physical, mental, and spiritual well-being. 
I've gathered what I've learned from my years of teaching music and published an ebook that contains what I feel you need to know in becoming fluent in music. The ebook is called A Visual Approach to Scales and Chords on Guitar, and it comes in three sections and is sold on Amazon.com for $9.99. I'll post the link at the bottom of the description of this video. Thank you for listening, and I wish you well.